Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bog Otter, and September 2016 marks the one year since I announced that I was going to be streaming and doing YouTube full time. So I wanted to give everybody an update on to how uh, the whole business thing was going, uh, talk about the goals that we set back in March and whether or not we hit them, and then also talk about uh, future plans, future goals, and all that kind of stuff. So I addressed the community on Twitch recently and talked about things, and I wanted to kind of uh, put a compilation video of the highlights of that stream together so that you guys can get an update here on YouTube on to how this whole business is going. So thank you so much for all the support. I hope you enjoy the update. Today uh, it marks the one year uh, that I kind of announced that I was going full-time trying to make a career out of this. Uh, there was a video posted on my YouTube channel that kind of explains uh, th that was the big leap of faith. It was one year today I put out a video uh, said full-time YouTube and streaming question mark and I basically shared um, with the community uh, some personal things and then the big decision that I'd come to and the video was uh, uh, was put out on this day one year ago and uh, that's what kind of started this whole journey that we've been on and now we've been doing it for a full year in that video I described uh, that um, I, you know, and this is going to be a recap for some folks that have been watching and following for a long time, but I assume there's some folks that have joined the community a little bit newer, so I will be uh, a little bit verbose here. But uh, in that video, I, I described that I had recently gone through or was going through a divorce, and I had been searching for full time work, trying to get back into like call center management for the previous like 10 months, had a bunch of interviews, had a bunch of applications sent out, a lot of rejections, and in the, in the, basically hitting like a really depressed low. I kind of uh, talked to Widget and we just said, you know what, let's try full-time YouTube and streaming. I had been doing this as a part-time thing for years, uh, whether it's been writing for various websites or YouTube or streaming. I've been doing that since basically 2010, 2011, but I never given it full attention, full, um, uh, full-time effort because I'd been a stay-at-home dad and I was kind of just doing it as a part-time thing. So... Uh, I, I decided to give this a shot and we gave ourselves like a three month, uh, trial. Like, like we were going to go from the middle of September to January and just see, see if it had any potential of possibly working or not. And, uh, and that's kind of what started the whole thing. And we set ourselves, we treated it like, like a, you know, startup business. We set ourselves a bunch of goals that we'd like to hit some different milestones. And, um, the crazy thing about what happened is, um... Like, we smashed like, every single goal <laughs> that we kind of set out, like, within the first month. Like, the first thing that we wanted, we wanted to get our Twitch partnership by the end of October. So, give ourselves, like, a month and a half. We actually got our Twitch partnership on October 9th. Uh, so, that was a couple weeks early. And then the, the goal for January of last year, or January of this year, the goal for January 1st of this year was to hit 75 subscribers on the channel. We had over 100 subscribers by the end of October. So it was already really like taken off. So at that point, we uh, reassessed and we came up with new goals. And the new goal was to hit 200 subs by January. And, uh, and we actually hit that like midway through January and stuff like that. So, so things were going really well. We had, uh, we had a lot of growth in October, November, and then December was an insane month with the holidays. It was the first time we ever did a Clampocalypse like full giveaway stream. We did it on Christmas Eve. It was hugely successful. We had a couple of breaking bog streams where you guys just slaughtered it. You guys like, <laughs> you guys like amazed me. And there's some YouTube videos and Twitch highlight videos kind of highlighting those, but like, the, the outpouring of love and support from this community was just amazing. And this is really when, you know, during the, that streaming of those first few months, that's where the Ottoman Empire kind of uh, got born. We had the Guild Wars 2 expansion come out. Right before the expansion came out, we formed a community guild. We brainstormed together what the name of it would be. I don't remember who came up with it, but somebody came up with the Ottoman Empire. We went, yes, and we just attached ourselves to it. We came up with the Discord channel. We brought the community all together. And that's really kind of how all things formed. So that happens, you know, somewhere around the end of October, early November time frame, we really started this this whole community thing and, and it started taking off. Uh, what happened then is in January, we assessed, we, we, we kind of did what we promised. We were going to we were gonna look at how we progress. What do the financials look like? What does our growth look like? There was no assumption that by that point, it would be a sustainable business, right? Anytime you start off a, a new self-employed business, you know, there is a, a there's a ramp up time where you, you kind of have to grow it and you're going to be in the red for a while. But things were going well enough in January that we said, you know what, let's do another three months. Well, let's go to the end of March. We'll see where we are at the end of March. So we continued this journey. Um, and January, um, 
is when we hit uh, 200 subs. But from the rest of January and February, it was a little, it was a little slow. The uh, it, quite frankly, that was the scariest part of this whole thing was because we we hit the ground running, really big, fast ramp up with partnership and all this. The community started growing, and then. January, February, things really slowed down and uh, got a little bit nervous before I kind of realized that this is probably how this business is going to be. You're going to have up months, you're going to have down months, and you got to be able to like ride those hills and valleys and stuff like that. But we learned some cool things. Uh, we actually um, started our very first Scream stream in February, um, and we realized that that was something that you guys seem to really like, um, and I don't handle those games really well. Uh, <laughs> so we learned that. We experimented with a lot of different games in February as well. Um, we, we had, uh, we did a lot of, we did some Davillion. We did, we switched games a lot. We had played some Diablo. I played Tomb Raider in January and February. And that way we just started to, you know, we were off the heels of doing a lot of Guild Wars. And we just started sprinkling more and more games in it. And that's kind of how we've been continuing ever since. It was like still one to two streams every week. Guild Wars, definitely a lot of Guild Wars players in this community. But also like to branch out and, and, and be more of a variety streamer at that case. Um, and that, that more. So when we reevaluated in March, we, um, we decided that, you know what? This is going well enough. We're having a, a lot of fun. Let's, let's see where this goes. And we, we set the, the goal for another six months before we reevaluate it. And that brings us up to, to where we are today. So the six months would be a full year support. And this is, this is kind of where we are. I'll go over some of the goals and stuff like that. But just, just real quick, things, things really started to pick up in like April and May. Um, we started to add uh, subathons to the mix. Uh, those I want to continue to do at least like once a month um, uh, where you guys control how long I stream. The holiday streams, you know, we did uh, Cuz Egg Celebration for Easter. Those, um, we started doing Clampocalypse more regularly. We've now had three Clampocalypse streams. So these community kind of special event theme type things, we, we started to mix in Scream streams and Subathons and Clampocalypse and, and we'll rotate those through. And I think that's really important for our channel growth. We have these spikes of growth whenever, uh, you know, the community seems energized around these kind of events. So we need to, we need to keep peppering those in along with different holiday events and stuff like that. And May turned out to be uh, the best month yet from a statistic and financial uh, standpoint. It was it was crazy. And and even though the summer, um, I was much busier. I took a, a week vacation and there was more, there was less time to stream because my kids weren't in school and stuff like that. We still had a really great summer. And then we let it, we, we finished off, we just capped off August. Um, and if I check my stats real quick here. August was a crazy month from it was the most follows we've ever gotten in a month since we started this whole thing so uh, we had over a thousand one we over, had over 1100 follows in August alone so every month might have something else something that that has been better than another month but uh, there's just so many things that we've 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 developed over the, this past year we, we now have our merch shop up they introduced bits um, you know I mentioned we have our discord and we uh, We've got you know, all, all of this, you know, we have new uh, art being, you know, made for us. And, and I don't know, it's just, it's just been an amazing year. So, okay, so let me talk about uh, goals. Let me bring up my spreadsheet. Goals are tough. Goals are tough to actually set. And in fact, Widget and I were talking yesterday and we were looking at some of the goals we set in March. We're like, where did we come up with that number exactly? Because we were like <laughs> nowhere near on some of them, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, but, you know, it's all about just looking, you know, the cool thing about year two is now we can do trend analysis, right? We can actually go back to September, October, November, December of last year when we were streaming and compare what we did last year to now. Like up to this point, it's been all flying by the seat of our pa uh, pants with no historical data from like the exact months a year ago. So this is kind of fun. You know, as somebody who's into stats and, you know, Widget and I worked together in the corporate world before and we had to do all kinds of forecasting and and number crunching, you know, together in the past. So it'll be nice to actually have data to go off of. But, um, so, um, our first our first goal was to hit 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I'll, I'll mention this. If you watch the video from a year ago when I announced the whole full-time thing, YouTube was part of that uh, as a big focus. In fact, my original goal, when I started, this is the notebook I started writing in with, with like, to go full-time. Like, I stole, like, September 2nd, 2015 is my first kind of like en entry in here. So we started it, you know, the beginning of this month last year. 
Uh, we did have a goal of 40,000. We, uh, we hit 38,361 as of, uh, as of this week. Uh, so we got close to the goal and I don't know if that's necessarily totally important that we have hit that number. Uh, but it's cool that we got close to the goal despite, I think, I think it's, it's great that it's continued to grow. The channel has continued to grow despite there only being maybe one or two videos going up there a week. Whereas in the past I was trying to do like five to six videos a week. So so there's that. Twitch followers. Now, this is the one we scratched our heads a little bit at. Uh, <laughs> uh, we were around, I think, in the March time frame, we were around 11,000 follows on Twitch. We set the goal to hit by September 17,000, uh, which I think was a pretty lofty goal. I think we were hitting, I think, what, I think we did the math on that. It was something like 800 new follows a month or something like that. But uh, we didn't hit 17,000. In fact, we're just shy of 14,000 right now. I think as of yesterday when we looked at this, we were at 13,951. So we fell, we fell short on that. But that's the one, like I said, I'm like, I don't know how we, we thought we would continue to get that much. If we look at, in January, we had about 800 new follows. In February, we had 857. In March, we had 820. So we probably figured we'd hit about 800 a month and keep going. The problem is, April, we went down to 612. May, we went down to 495, and June, 566, and July, surprisingly, even though I took nine days off to go on a family vacation, we hit 751, we were back close to the 800, and then August, we had our best one ever, which was 1114, so I think that's probably where we, we, we got that, that number from, uh, so we fell short of that goal, that's not, it's not, that doesn't cause me much alarm, um, honestly, uh, follows are great, but it's really active people, the regulars who come every single day, and you know get our uh concurrent viewers to that 150 the 200 range you know that's really kind of what's important um the follows might be kind of flashy and shiny to like game devs or any kind of business partners who want to just see like what, what's you know how many follows you have but overall I'm, I'm really happy with kind of where we are in that regard so i'm not too concerned that we didn't hit it and uh yeah like i said that's probably where we came up with that number from now the twitch subscribers the goal was to hit 350 by September 1st, and by golly, did we pretty much hit it. We hit 350 on September 12th, uh, and we've dipped down a little bit since then, but that's 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 normal. There's, there's, there's you know, you take take some steps forward, you take some steps back, there's hills and valleys to it, so. But I'm going to call that one a done. I think we did that. <laughs> we, we, we hit 350, which is awesome. And uh, then there's some income-related goals. Um, I'm not going to go over, like, all of that. Uh, I, I want to talk about income and kind of where financial things are on a high level, but I, I want to, I will mention Patreon. The goal uh, on Patreon by this time was to hit uh, uh, 1,000 a month. In fact, actually, I talked in the, the March update video that went out on YouTube uh, that when I revamped, I revamped Patreon in March. I revamped the rewards and kind of came up with some goals. One of the lofty goals I set was long-term, you know, once this business kind of grows to the point where we just know that this is just, this is my job forever kind of thing or for the foreseeable future. The lofty goal was to kind of pay half of my monthly expenses uh, th just through Patreon because that's a number I can, Patreon is a number I can look at and go, all right, I know how much is coming in for the month, which is really useful uh, in things like budgeting and paying bills and kind of saving for the future and stuff like that. It's it's good to have numbers you can kind of count on. Now, Patreon's always going to go up and down, but I can look right now and say, all right, as of October 1st, this is how much I can expect to come in. Whereas like bits and tips and different things like that, which are essential to, to doing this, they're, they're hard to forecast based on. So I set a lofty goal of being able to pay half my monthly expenses through Patreon, and that was that would be $2,500 a month. So, But I set the goal to hit for September, so now to be 1000 and we got we're close in fact we were we were higher like earlier in the summer but we're at 841 a month at this point um so we we, we we got close to that if you have ideas about how to make patreon better like if you look at my the rewards that i offer and you compare it to maybe other uh, content creators on Patreon. If you have other ideas of how different tiers of support with different rewards or changing some of the rewards or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, what you know, if, if if you're a current pledger, what, what you know, what would uh, entice you to to stay pledged? If you have never pledged on Patreon, what are the type of things that might you might actually think about pledging if you if you had it? If you have any feedback like that, please please go onto Discord and go to. 
the feedback for bog section and post them you know or bother widget send widget a, a message or something like that we would love to hear it we would love to hear it or with you well we had some other goals one was to get the merch shop up and running which we were successful in doing uh so that is now uh, uh up and running uh quick plug merch uh, cafe press.com slash bog otter uh mugs shirts t-shirts um hoodies mouse pads all that kind of fun stuff uh, and then we also had goals of getting a sponsorship deal where, you know, maybe a, uh, a company would, uh, pay for some advertising or pay to, for us to cover their game. That actually did not happen. We did not get a sponsorship deal since March. Um, uh, and uh, also a new affiliate option, which also did not happen. We, we met a lot of potential affiliates in, at PAX East. We talked to a lot of people. And we, again, we weren't able to kind of land anything with that. So uh, it's still stuff that we uh, want to get and we'll work towards. And But, you know, just for complete transparency, those were other goals that we uh, fell short on. Uh, I think it's safe to say that things are going well enough with the business overall that we're no longer going to say, hey, you know, after three months, we'll evaluate and we'll see. We're, we're going to be doing this for the foreseeable future. And I have all you guys to thank for that. I mean, I think that's exciting. I mean, I think you guys have a vested interest. You, like, you guys want to see this continue. This is, you know, uh, a gaming community for you guys. You want to see it keep going. It's also a source of, you know, entertainment, whether it's you're keeping your company while you're at work or watching, you know, with your family in front of the TV or whatnot. Like, you know, we all want this to continue. So uh, the good news is there's no, there's no longer any kind of time limit or time constraints or we need to do something by a certain date or this is, you know, crumbling. We're going to keep going for as long as we can. And there's no signs of stopping. That said, we're still going to be treating this very seriously, and we're going to be reevaluating re the statistics and the numbers um, by uh, every three months. So in January, we will have another review like this. So there we go. Uh, like I said, we're going to be streaming for the foreseeable future, but in January, we will go over our stats, and we set goals to hit by January 1st, 2017. So the YouTube subscriber growth, uh, we, kept, we kept the same goal. The goal was to hit 40K, so we still have 40K. Uh, we expect growth on YouTube to be slow. Number two, Twitch followers. We kept uh, that goal. The actual the goal we set in March was to hit seventeen thousand by uh, by this point. We didn't hit that. We're about fourteen thousand right now. We, in fact, we could hit fourteen thousand today. But the goal for January is to do seventeen thousand. So it's 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 a pretty lofty goal because we'd have to continue this trend of getting about a thousand new followers each month. Uh, but hopefully, we can hit that and uh, and continue to grow. That would be amazing to hit seventeen thousand by that point. Next, uh, Twitch subs. The Twitch sub goal for January of 2017 uh, is 400. So we hit 300 subs in June. And it's taken us since June to, to now to hit 350 subs. So that was about three months or maybe like a little less. Um, so we think that another 50 subs by January is doable and probably appropriate. So we're going to be working on this 400 goal uh together you can see it dips down and back up we hit these milestones there a lot of times during special event days you know we have a, a lot of support we might be doing some big giveaways or it might be a subathon and people are encouraged because it's exciting to sub and then people you know don't resub uh and so we kind of drop back down a little bit and stuff like that so it's a constant like taking a step forward two steps forward one step back kind of approach so but i think we can hit 400 by um by January, and then we're gonna set our set sights like on 450, and then of course 500. 500 is really the big mark. We get more emotes on the channel, and uh, I think we'd all be super excited about that. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is crazy. Okay, so when I first started, b before we started the full time thing, uh, I, I wrote at the cover of this notebook. I wrote where we were with some of the stats uh, as of September 4th of last year. This is crazy. Okay, so. Um, Twitch followers, we were at 3,688 one year ago, and now we're at four, close to 14,000. So we've gained about, uh, like over 10,000 followers in this in this past year, which is crazy. On Twitter, we were at 4,900 followers. Now we're over, what are we at now? We are 6,426, so we gained about 1,500, give or take. Um, subs on YouTube was at 33,000. And we, you know, haven't been super active on that, but 33000 up to 38000 And then Patreon was at $322 a month, and now we're over $800 a month. So that's just kind of where, we, where we've come in a year, which is kind of crazy. You know, I'm just going to take a moment to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to all of our viewers, no matter what you do to support, whether if it's just watching and lurking, 
or whether you just hit that follow button and maybe retweet um, or all the way up to like subscribers and Patreon supporters and, you know, tippers and bit donators and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for everybody who has supported the stream in any way, shape or form and just being a part of the community. You know, this this community is for all of us. I mean, yes, this is the full my full time career. This is what you know, this is my business. This is, you know, that's my my goal is to support my family, you know, for the foreseeable future using this as a platform. But really what we built here is for all of us to enjoy. And I do think that a large part of our community is really, you know, finding that this is friends. We're friends. We're internet friends. We play games together. We, you know, we have events together. We celebrate together. We have inside jokes and, you know, we continue to add more people and we grow. So I really want everybody to feel um, like they're a part of this community and, and, and making it an open and friendly environment on Twitch and a, a different environment, one that, you know, people feel safe and, and, and welcomed. And uh, I think we, we, we've, we've, we've already achieved that. And I just look forward to another year of growing that with all of you.